Yeah, I got fooled that white rock looked like you see the indentation it looked like a big white side notch man I got fooled but that looks good Dana. I'm looking around later All right, there's a big core or something right here. Oh, it's a real nice core. It's green shirt too It's like a preform The material makes this look at that green stuff It's a preform core. It's pretty cool working that one down later Mississippian period arrowhead in my view. It's probably like a thousand years old on this site. Um, but right here is one I picked up back here a little bit ago. It had a concave base and the edges are lightly serrated. You can see it there, but it's popped apart. It looks fire popped. Um, I didn't. I don't shave stuff like that. I went down a lot last night. I've been picking up a lot of flakes in here, and right here it is. It's a little tiny. Oh, it's really nice. Look how peat, it's just as thin as a penny. Let me wipe this off. This is a beautiful little point. Look how little. That'd fit on a penny. I'll show you that. Look at how nice the material is, too. That's a nice little find. Croc last night, now a point this morning. Nice. Look at how cool. Lay down. I mean, there's some nice fire pits coming out right in here. I'm still looking around. I'm relieved. I haven't been doing too hot looking for arrowheads. That's why I go to the dumps. Then I start having luck at the dump. Then the luck runs out. I come back to the river and start looking for arrowheads. Try to get my luck going again and it's going. I still got another site to look. I might even get to a dump later. See there's some old glass that's washed out and that's got kind of a lavender shade to it. That's a shame. But if I see anything else, I will get back to you. I have a chance. See, there's a bottleneck there. That's off a real old beer. That's an old beer. It's probably one of them wheeling ones. But if I see a bottle or anything, it, I'm taking home. I'll shoot. Later. That kind of looks like something right there. I can't tell. Uh, it's like a little core or something. I thought it was a core. You can see that's a preform look. It's all worked up on that. It's a knife or something. It's kind of uniface on the back side, but it's definitely some kind of little tool. It's still kind of dark. I couldn't tell what it was. It's real early. Later. That's a big old boy right there. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no houses around, and it's it's woods all around me. Um, that's a big coyote. Later. Look at that, I just, I'm scraping in here and filling my sifter. Got another. Dug that one out, look at that big hole. Nothing in the other side, but I'll take it, it's an artifact. Alright, I'm walking back to my kayak, it's up here about 50 yards. I've looked at all this stuff for about an hour and a half and found one point that would fit on a penny. We'll show that. Them little cool ones are nice. It's a true bow and arrow point. Most of the stuff I find is not bow and arrow related. Addle, addle, and a lot of it's knives. And, but I'm going to give you look one more sight, and then that'll be it for the day. I'm starting to get tired, and I forgot to bring something to drink, so I'll give you look one more and then call it a day. Hopefully I can find something else later. Man, that's a big dead catfish, isn't it? I'm glad it's not 100 degrees, so it's not stinking. That's pretty big. Look, the head's as big as my foot. Anyway, later. Yeah, I just found that. Didn't have any leaks or anything. That's a pretty nice inner tube. You know, I probably won't use it, but I know people that I can give it to. It's brand new. I find stuff like this all the time. There's people that have channels on YouTube just looking for stuff like this. And I bring home tons of it. I just don't usually film it. That's brand new.